Sometimes, I just want to design a website, but the process of going into the theme builder, setting up my fonts, setting up my colors, and making sure that all my modules are mobile friendly, that can take a very, very long time, and it makes me procrastinate. But I'm going to show you a web design process which I've been working on, which is going to make the process of designing a website very, very exciting. So in this example, we're going to design a basic page for a portfolio website of a photographer. So I'm gonna start off here with a blank WordPress website running Divi. So as you can see, there's nothing going on here. All I have is the home page. So let's go ahead and start working on our website. So the first thing we're gonna do is to upload all our images because you want to have your assets all ready before you start designing your website. So let's go to media. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded my images. They're all in my uh, desktop. So I'm going to import them by clicking here on add new. I'm gonna click on select files. And now here on my desktop, I'm just going to uh, go in and select all the images that I need and click on open. Now that all my images have been uploaded to my library, the next step is to go into my theme builder. So I'm gonna come over here to appearance and then click on customize. I'm gonna click here on customize. So the first thing I'm going to do is to come over here to general settings and then click on typography. All I need to do here is to make sure my body text is set to 16 and also my default theme font, it needs to be set to Poppins. Here it is, I'm gonna select it. And for my body font, I also need to do the same thing, set this to Poppins. Okay, I've selected that. And now I can hit publish. And then let's close out of here. Now let's go to our home page. So I'm gonna click here on pages. And I have my home page here. I'm gonna click on edit with Divi. And then I'm gonna click on build from scratch. So I'm gonna save myself a lot of time by coming over here to my new product, which is called Divi Crafter. So this is a set of sections which are pre-designed for you. So let's take a look at them. So if I scroll down here, we have full width heroes. So I'm gonna go in and click on that. So these are the uh, designs that I have. So the one I'm looking for is this one right here. So this is DK005, and this is also running with Flexbox. Okay. So let's say you've gone ahead, you've purchased uh, this, and by the way, it's only $36, and this is the initial price. The price is gonna go up later on as I'm adding more layouts. But there's quite a lot. We have call to action, services, contact, blogs, email opt-ins, and so on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to our website here and install it. Installing it is very, very easy. So we're gonna come over here to Divi. We're gonna hover over and click on Divi Library. So as you can see, there's nothing in the library. So all we have to do now is to import all the layouts. I'm gonna click here on import and then click on import. Next, I'm gonna make sure I check this box here which says import presets and then I'm gonna choose my file. So my file is right here on the desktop and as you can see, it says dkdvuikit.zip. So what you wanna do is to double click and unzip it. So I've already gone ahead and done that and you can see this is the file. So what we need to do is to just drag and drop it so I'm gonna click once and then drag and drop it over here. Next, I'm gonna click on Import Divi Builder Layout. Now, what is important here is to make sure that when you uh, unzip it and you're about to install it, do not install the zipped file. You need to open it first and then import the .json file. It's very, very important you do that, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so all my layouts now have been imported to my library. So the next step now is to choose which layout I need to use. So what I would do here is I would um, go to divicrafter.diviuniversity.com and take a look at the full width heroes because this is where we're going to start with. So just use this as a reference so you can see what they look like. So I'm gonna scroll down here and the one I need is this one right here and this is number five. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, click on add from library. So remember, all our layouts are saved in the library. So I can search here, hero and then five. And here it is, DK hero 005. I'm gonna click once on it. Now, if I need to do any changes to it, I can always go in here and edit with Divi. If I need to do a quick live demo, I can just click over here and here it is. This is what it looks like. And if you're happy with that, just close out of here. I wish that Divi would give us a feature where we could have a preview of uh, this actual layout, but I guess that is something that's coming in later on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on use this section. And here it is. I'm going to delete this top one here. And then I'm gonna go into this section itself. 
Next, I'm going to click on background, and then I'm going to go to the image. Now, the default image doesn't really matter. I need to get rid of it and then add my own image. Now, remember, in the beginning of this tutorial, I uploaded some images, so now it's time to use them. So I'm going to come to DV Library, and the one I'm going to use is this one right here, since this is a photographer-type website. So here we go. So all I have to do now, in fact, let me snap this over to the left. So what I need to do next is to go into the name here and change the name. So I'm going to save, and then I'm going to go into my text settings, change the name. There we go. And if you want to change photographer here to something else, it's up to you. And then we can say view gallery. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. So as you can see here, it was very easy for me to go in and make these quick changes. The next step now is to add our portfolio. Again, I'm going to come over here to my divi, crafted.diviuniversity.com website, and then I'm going to go to galleries. And just take a look at the galleries here. And the one I'm going to go with is, let's go with the dark version. I'm going to go with this one right here. So this one is uh, gallery three. Okay. So I'm going to click on this plus button, go to add from library, and I'm just going to search for Gallery 3. The other way to do this is by just scrolling down here and then just clicking on Gallery. And this is going to um, narrow down until you get only the galleries. Okay, so we want the third one. So let's go ahead and select it and click on Use This Section. And there we go. We have our gallery now. So as you can see here, we have these default images, but we want to add our own images. So I'm going to click here on Module Settings. And then all I have to do is to just delete, 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 and then I can start adding my own. And again, I'm going to use my images that I added. So I'm just going to select them all. So I'm going to add, let's add four of these. Click on select. And now my gallery has been updated. I'm going to go ahead and save and look at that. So this is pretty much looking good already. Next, I'm going to click on this plus button, add from library. So this time I want um, a services section. So again, I'm going to come over here. Let's go back to the top. Let's take a look at our services. So the section I need here is the lights uh, section. So I'm going to go with this one. So this one here is the 001 light. Okay, no problem. So let's go to services. So we need 001 light, which is that one. Use this section. Great. So now I have my section. I can now go in and customize this. So let's start with the icon. So let's look for a camera here. So we're going to go with that one. Now, if we need to go with solid, we can always go with the solid icons. So I'm going to choose that one. And I'm also going to label this. So let's go to our text. So I'm going to say photography here. I'm going to save that. Come over here to the next one. Uh, this one here is going to be called filmmaking. Now let's go to our icon, and we're going to search for our icon here. So here's the icon we're going to use, and then you can just change the final one here. So now I'm going to hit save, and then let's exit the visual builder and take a look at what we've designed so far. So here's our hero area here. I'm going to scroll down, and here's our gallery. Now if I click on that, we have this beautiful uh, image, and we can cycle through this as well by clicking on these arrows like that. And then we have our section over here on the bottom. Now, there's a few people that uh, commented on my previous video saying that these layouts are boring. Well, I've got news for you. When it comes to designing, designing is about communication and design is about simplicity. The more simple your website is, the easier it is for the visitors to your website to know where to click and how to navigate the content on your website. Now, let's take a look at a few examples. So here, we're going to use Apple. Now, this is just a cliche. I know everyone wants to use Apple as a good example. But look at that. All we have here is this image and a bit of text and call to actions. We move on to the next section. Same thing. Look at that. So what is really driving this uh, website are the images and also the text. But the layout here is very, very basic. So as you can see, this is very, very simple, very, very easy. And this is how we need to start designing our websites. So the more complex you're going to make your website, the harder it is it is going to be for your visitors to start finding your information on your website. And also, if you're using Divi and you're trying to build complex websites using columns and sections, 
this is going to be even more complicated. You're going to have websites which are very, very slow, and this is why you need to start using Flexbox. But these are sections that are going to be coming out very, very soon. Now, let's take a look here at road now i'm going to these websites because i use their products and again here we have two buttons we have uh, some description text and we have the product itself same thing over here call to actions now this is simply what we've tried with these sections that i've created in dv crafter simple layouts but they really communicate very very well lastly this is a bank now take a look at this it is so simple this is just a bank, but look at how they've laid out their information. Now, these companies spend so much money on um, uh, research and development, and this is what they came up with when it comes to designing websites. Now, finally, let's take a look at the Wimbledon website. Now, I love tennis. So if we take a look at this again, the images are really taking the center stage here. Look at how beautiful these images are. When I scroll down here, you can see we have this layout, which is very, very basic. We have a bit of text here. We also have a video here on the right. Look at that. A bit of text here, text on the uh, image on the right. Very, very simple. Now we have a gallery here, text on the left, and so on. If we now take a look at uh, what I've created for DV Crafter, you're going to find a similar layout structure. So let's take a look here at uh, content. So here we have an image on top, text, and a call to action button. Now this is the light version. Now this is a video on the right, text on the left with some social media icons. Look at that. Simple layouts, but these are the type of layouts you're going to need for your websites to look classy and also very, very clean and professional. So now let's talk about the pricing. DV Crafter is only going for $36. Now, when everything is all put together, it's going to go up to $72. Now, the plans I have for this, this is only version 1. So, this will be uh, improving in versions. So, version 1.1 is going to have even more layouts and things like 404 pages. And what I'm really excited about is adding Flexbox. Now, these layouts, I've already experimented with them. They're very, very fast. They're very exciting. So, these are layouts I'll be adding as time goes on. But in the meantime, you can purchase this for $36. It's 50% discount. The coupon code is DK50. So if you purchase it, any future updates, you're going to get them automatically for free. I'm also working on Divi University. If you purchase this, you're also going to be part of Divi University. All right, guys, that's all I have. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. I'm keen to know uh, what you think about the Divi UI kit. Let me know what you think, and I'll also be taking some suggestions to make this the best UI kit for Divi on the internet. See you soon.